Hey, how you doing? I'm back for another video. Today we're going to talk about my solar setup and give an update on that and go through it because I think I'm at my phase one is pretty much done. So, um, but first there is a giveaway going on. Um, long and the short of it is details are in the description. The details are on the website. The website is linked into the description. One dollar equals one entry for the giveaway. The more you buy, the more entries you get. Um, the winner is going to get the order refunded as well as a percentage of the profits of the giveaway. The We are also going to be giving this month to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. So a percentage of the profits will go there as well. Those details are in the details of the giveaway. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit like. And uh, we're going to be doing these hopefully on a monthly basis. We'll see how it goes. Depends if you guys buy anything. Thanks. All right. Okay. So back to the solar power. Um, I'm pretty pumped about this because this is my first go around with solar and I just, I did it in spurts. Learn as I, I like to learn as I go. Um, so here we are. I think I've got to where this building in, it will be self-sufficient and I won't need to, uh, for the most part, run power from our house down here. Um, except maybe if we have a, an extended power, extended time where the, it's really cloudy or something like that. So, so here we are. So here we go. Look at this guy out here. Look at that guy. He's just creeping. He's a good dog. He's a good dog. Um, okay. So, um, the building, I'll kind of give a brief overview of what it is. It's a 30, 30 by 44 long, uh, 12 foot clear height. It's metal and wood frame. So nothing super special about that. No insulation, nothing like that at this point. Uh, <clears throat> we do have lights, obviously. So <clears throat> when we were building the building and after it was up, I used an extension cord from our house to kind of bridge the gap with electricity. So that extension cord was just a regular outlet extension cord, nothing, nothing crazy. So it powered everything that I needed for that time being. So I was, we don't need HVAC or anything. So I was like, well, why don't I just try to put something simple together, a solar pan, a solar powered setup and see if I can get solar power to power this building and run off of that. Because one, I'm interested in that. I want to learn about it. I think it's cool. I think it's awesome to be not have to worry about your power going out uh, with the grid, yada, yada. Yeah, I know, like, chances are super small that that's even going to happen. But I think it's cool to be s solely running off solar power. So here we are. So I decided to try to throw up a solar-powered si system to power this. We really pretty much only need lights. Um, we've got the garage door openers and then battery chargers for my drills and things like that. Like a, I've got this 12 volt battery charger that I, it, until I got all my solar panels in, I was using that to charge this with an extension cord from the house. But now hopefully I can take that extension cord and put it away. So really basic needs here, just lights, garage door openers is essentially the main stuff. <laughs> and then I've got my internet router, uh, satellite deal and my security system base down there as well. So those are very minor power poles. So, you know, that being said, I don't need a lot of juice to sit through the night when there's no sun. So now we are going to talk about what I, what the system consists of and kind of how I did it. Okay, so my system currently consists of a battery, a Renogy 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery. 
a 3000 watt inverter, Renogy, pure sine wave. Uh, Wanderer, Renogy, Renogy Wanderer solar charge controller. And a bunch of extension cords. So I do not, you know, recommend this. And this is just a temporary solution. But I've got my plug-in right here. So I've got, this is my power strip that goes to those two things in the battery charger. And then I've got this extension cord that runs all the way over here. Dun, dun, dun. And plugs into this kind of multi-outlet thing <laughs> that I've got. So this is garage door openers. This is the lights. I've got this little neat little switch here. And then this is just a kind of a random cord for the air compressor. So right now I'm running everything off extension cords, which phase two is putting in a, an actual uh, electrical box with actual outlets and actual wire and, and stuff like that. Because the long-term plan here for this building is to put that in, get it insulated, eventually get heat AC in here, um, but that's down the road. Hence why we're doing this kind of in phases. So, so that's kind of my setup right now. And then uh, my solar panels, we will go look at those right now. So that's the solar panels. I know you couldn't see much of them since they're already up there, but I will put a link to everything that I have for this setup in the description so you all can cruise through it and check it out but it's a very it's really if you if you like doing stuff yourself it's really a pretty simple concept now I don't have any fuses or anything like that with you know between my battery and inverter and stuff but I'm going to put those in as as uh, I continually improve the system so basically right now the last couple days so i forgot to say i've got this little monitor here i don't know how i don't think it's like dead on accurate but i think it, it's it gives you a good idea of how much battery percentage you have left and stuff um i'm gonna hopefully improve each piece of this i want to get a uh, better monitor for that. I want to get a monitor to see how much is coming in from the solar panels to the charge controller. So then I can see how much loss there is. Oh, I like I like data, I like details. So, so I'm gonna continually improve this, but this is my current setup. So got that. And the last couple days, so I don't know, my last update, I had two solar panels. So I bought a set of, oh, hey, look at this cool water bottle. You guys can buy that on my merch site too. So um, the last video I put up, I had the inverter, the battery, charge controller, that stuff set up. I don't know if I had what where my solar panels were at. I think I put up two and two 170 watt solar panels each. So combined 340 watts that they would bring in of sunlight. So where where I live, my this building, the peak, that's west, that's east. If you can see back here, we've got some challenges on the, because that whole hill is really, really big trees. So I don't get sunlight like sunlight to actually charge till probably right now it's December till probably 10 30 or 11. So I'm missing out on a good amount of time that I would, you know, somebody without a giant hill of trees behind their building would get. So 
my situation somewhat unique. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's super unique, but the west side, we get pretty good sun. So um, I've got my panels on the west side. The slope is a 412, I believe. So it's not super steep. And you know, in the winter, the sun's so far south that it just, it, it does not get a ton of, of the sunlight. And obviously that's what you need when you have a solar set up to charge and make energy. So that's why I had to put two sets of the 340 watt panels up. So I've got four panels, each are 170 watts. I currently have them running together. So I've got two wires running. I don't know if you can see that up there, but I have two wires. So they are hooked up separately on the building. And the reason I did that is because this charge controller, which I will eventually upgrade, but this charge controller is only a 400 watt charge controller. So as the days get longer and the sun gets stronger, they're gonna easily, hopefully easily surpass the amount of uh, energy that that can handle. So I'll eventually have to put two charge controllers separately up. So. That's why I ran two wires, so they were separate already for when that time comes. But right now, with the sun being so in the sat much south and we're not getting that strong sun, it doesn't even come close to the 400 watts. I think max is like, today was a pretty good day. It was pretty cloudy, but the, the, the times where it was open, I was getting, so this is a negative 422 negatives only there but it's both of those so i was getting like 200 and some try 250 watts of charge which is awesome um but anyways <clears throat> so that is kind of the gist of my setup i'll put the dis products in the description below for you guys to cruise through um and i was gonna make this video a detailed video but it's getting pretty long already so i think i'm gonna cut this off here and then right after i'm going to make a more detailed video of it and go there so appreciate you all for watching um please if you have found any interest in this like subscribe share um and go don't forget to go to the merch store and buy something and get entered in that giveaway nobody buys anything gonna be hard to give a winner out i've already had one order so we're good we're good we're getting there but don't forget to go don't forget to go buy something we'll catch you guys later have a great day thanks